hi guys welcome back to you me and the family or if you're new here hi i'm hannah a mum of four ranging from 16 years down to a three-year-old and we live as a family of six in the south east of england we are in my kitchen i had a tesco delivery this morning but we had to dash straight out to westwood cross to try and get some madam's birthday presents because it's Haley's birthday this week as well as Steve's and my dad's today. So we had to literally just bung it all on the kitchen side and go to Westwood Cross, done a bit of shopping there. Now I'm come back and now I've got to haul this and show you what I've got for the weekly food shop. I've got my air fryer going and the slow cooker next to me because I've got a leg of lamb cooking and a gammon joint because it is my dad's birthday, like I just said and I'm cooking a Sunday roast for my mum and dad, my sister and her husband, and my niece and nephew, as well as my six and Chloe's boyfriend. So that's, how many is that? 13 again I'm gonna be cooking for. So please ignore the noises of the cooking. I have Hayley and Nathan playing in the background, and then the other kids are about, so there is gonna be noise. But I do need to get this recorded because I do have fridge stuff that needs to be put away and I got a crack on and cooking, cook dinner. But um, what I wanted to show you as well, as well as the Tesco stuff that I've got behind me, I picked up a few items in Farm Foods, not Farm Foods, Food Warehouse, because I went in there to find something for my friend. And I managed to find them, which is great. I'll give them to her once I, when I see her and I managed to spend £41.70 in there. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's what they wanted. And um, I spent, with Tesco's, it would have been £168.53, but with all the offers and discounts and all that lot, of £32.46, that came off, so my Tesco haul come to £136.7p. So, let's show you what I got for my money, shall we? Right, here we go, guys. There's a quick overview of everything from Tesco's and then the bits from the food warehouse, which I will start with because I do want this frozen, these free frozen items put away. Ignore that, that is the veg that I done for dinner before I went. So I've got to put that in the um, steam up, ready to cook. But while I was in there, I picked up a couple of the Slimming World lunch bowls and microwave meals just to have on hand for when um, I don't want what the family's having. So I picked up the chicken tikka and rice. Doesn't You can't really see it very well because it is frozen, but that's what that looks like. Um, it was in the three for £10 deal. So that's why I got that one. I got the new um, Slimming World Aromatic Duck Noodles, which looks absolutely lovely. And then I picked up the um, Beef Tagliatelle as well. So they are going to go straight in my freezer. I will probably be having one of these this week. Because so far, I've got pulled pork on my menu plan. That is it. I haven't had chance to meal plan. Steve's birthday is Tuesday. He has asked for Chinese. And then Haley's is Thursday and she hasn't placed her food order. In this house, we let the birthday person choose what we have for dinner and she hasn't placed her order yet. So that's two nights this week that are out of my control for dinners. But tomorrow night, I will probably do pulled pork for the rest of them. These are what my friend asked me to get. Her son is obsessed with toxic waste and all things sour. And these have just launched in... B and M and all that lot. There's this apple fla flavor, flower, no flower. They have a lemon and lime, and then they have a blue raspberry. Now these you put in the freezer. You let them freeze up. Then you get them out to defrost for 30 minutes, and then you give them a good old bash in, and they come out like a slush puppy. So I've picked up four, two for him, and then two to go in my freezer for my children. It was near on lunchtime, so we picked up some sausage rolls for Nathan that he didn't eat, so Steve has. A pack of 30 mixed eggs, because I'm going for a lot of eggs lately. Put the sausage rolls back there. 
I couldn't find the individual packs of um, three for three pounds on the crepes. So they had this 40 pack. So there's two there. It's a twin pack of 20 for £6.50. So I'll pick that up. That will last Nathan a couple of weeks, hopefully. Steve picked up a steak slice and I was going to eat a beef pasty, but then I changed my mind. But they had five for five pounds. So I thought I'd get five of them. So Steve had a steak slice on the way home and then I've got him two more for lunches this week. And then I got two of the Ginsters um, beef pasties for Shane's pack, pack lunches. So they were five pounds minus the one that Steve's eaten. I got some of the chocolate flavoured milk for the cupboard. The kids have loved having the Yazoos lately, but they're not on offer, so I'm not buying them. I just picked up, was it five? One, two, three, yeah, five of these chocolate flavoured milks. They were a pound each. And then for the family, I got these this big box of Belgium 30 brownies, like 30 pieces of brownie. They loved them last time, so I got them this time. So that is everything I got from the food warehouse. Now let's show you the Tesco bits. We'll move the brownies out of the way. We've got milk, the usual staple that we have, and it's whole milk. Butter, unsalted and salted because I have some buttercream and all that lot to make this week because I've got Hayley's birthday cake to make, so I'll be using that. The Dairy Dunkers are on offer at the moment, so I switched it up a little bit. The kids prefer these big jumbo tubes, but I got some Ritz ones as well. Um, six pack for £2.50, I got three packs. More, go down, more eggs. This is the 10 pack. I've got some Yorkshire puddings to make, so I needed some more eggs. It is the first week back tomorrow for the kids at school, and we're gonna just ease ourselves back into it. Play it simple for now. I grabbed some sauce rolls for pack lunches, 95p each. Some ham for snacking for me and sandwiches. Cathedral City Nibbles, they were on club card, so I got some of them. As well as these Dairy Leaf Field Crackers, they were on club card. All good there, they're going to go straight in the fridge. Shane's usual apple snack packs, three of them. Big old box of blueberries, but these blueberries are huge. They are like the size of grapes. So Nathan and myself will love snacking on them. I got some Irish lean 5% steak mince. That is mainly for me to fry up so that I can have it in rice bowls and salad bowls and that lot. Got some Actimels. How many was in there? Was it a 12 pack? They were on club card down to three pounds. Happy Monkey Smoothies, pack lunches, they were on Club Card down to £4. The Squishums, again Club Card, got them for the kids. Picked up myself this Protein Power Soup from Bowl. It's red pepper, tomato and lentil, full of protein. That will keep me going till dinner or I'll have that for a dinner. That was on offer, uh, I can't remember how much it was, but I'll put the prices on the screen for you. Got some baby spinach, a big bag of it. That is for my smoothies and for the guinea pigs. Bananas, again for smoothies and Nathan. I've shown you the blueberries. Two cauliflowers for dinner tonight. Spring onions to go with my salads. Sweet potatoes for my dinners because I'm pretty much the only one that eats them. Um, at the back, well, that's my air fryer ticking off. Got one pineapple. We've got a bag of mixed leaf salad. That is for the tortoises. Fresh greens. That is for the tortoises and the guinea pigs. Baby leaf salad. That is for me. Kale. That is for the tortoises. I got these raspberry and white chocolate high in fibre skinny crunch light bars. Only 70 calories per bar. I thought they'd be nice for a little sweet treat when I need it. I'm feeling brave and adventurous. I'm going to try an avocado because I've heard they're really good for you. 
whether I try it smashed up on a bit of toast or I put it in a smoothie. We will see. I'm going to try it all different ways. I'm going to make that, that avocado go multiple different ways. <laughs> um, fruit bowls, uh, black currant peelers and strawberry peelers. I'm going to see how Hayley gets on with these. They're going to go in the cupboard in the fruit box, the fruit snack box for the packed lunches to see if she likes them. Bag of easy peelers for the fruit bowl. There isn't a whole lot of fruit and veg because we still are well and truly stocked up on broccoli, carrots, onions, potatoes and the fruit bowl is overflowing with apples and stuff like that because I have been managing to get a couple of the Lidl £1.50 fruit and veg boxes each week and they have been really keeping us going and for £1.50 you can't go wrong. So I've shown you the baby leaf spinach, uh, spinach, baby leaf salad. I got the kids some more of the orange cartons and apple cartons. They've been enjoying having these and they're already portioned out. I got eight apple, eight orange, but somehow I've got another orange one. So I'm guessing they didn't count. So I've got nine orange. These Vintos were on offer at the moment at Tesco's for three pounds. I know my mum likes this one because I had it at a caravan. So hopefully she'll drink some of that here because she doesn't really drink here. She doesn't like my teas. So if I get her some of this, she'll drink it. Um, this is the raspberry, orange and passion fruit. Then this one, it says on the website that it's new. It is mango and passion fruit. Same as this one is new. It is um, blood orange and citrus twist. So they'll be nice and refreshing. Needed some more ketchups. So I've got two of the big and then one of the cheapos because my kids drink this stuff. Um, my pantry had none. They they started on the last bottle last week. And um, I like to keep a couple of bottles in there at least. And I had none. So that is why I've got three. This is not going to be just this week. That is going to last a while. I've got some sourdough. Because I am doing an experiment, guys. I am going to be making a sourdough starter. One from scratch. And then I have actually bought a sourdough starter of Amazon. And I'm going to start making my own sourdough bread and sourdough products i.e crumpets and tortillas and all that sort of thing so i wanted to get a loaf of bread just the bog standard white to see what the kids think of it because again it is a different texture and it is a slightly different taste it's a bit tangier i want to see if they like it if not then i'm going to have to reevaluate and see about different recipes so that it's not so tangy or, or what they don't like about the sourdough but that is that and it's a lot better for your gut as well than yeasted bread don't get me wrong i'm gonna do yeasted bread because it is quick and easy and stuff like that but if i could do sourdough as well i'm excited to challenge myself i got some sesame seeds to go on top of it of breads i got roasted black sesame seeds and then i got some poppy seeds these are just for toppings on um, bagels that I plan on making and breads. Yummy. Jaffa cakes were on offer, so we picked them up. And then a whole load of, of flowers. We've got two plain, two self-raising for just bog standard baking and stuff like that. A strong white flour and then a Addison's bread flour. This is a very strong wholemeal because... A lot of research I've done says to start a sourdough, it is good to start it with whole meal. Half whole meal, half plain. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Got some more microwave rices because we're going through them like there's no tomorrow. Shane made me well aware that we had run out of tinned peaches. So I've got 10 tins of their peaches, peach slices in syrup. He likes these as a snack, so I don't mind. He doesn't drink the juice, he drains that away, he just eats the peaches. Chloe, I've got some of the Ambrosia chocolate custard. This is for 
prepared to have her medication in. She'll divide this can into four portions and then she'll have it over four nights. That, and the reason I got it because it was two for two pound. That's why I got them. Um, a cheat sourdough, sourdough flavoured bread mix. So it's not sourdough, it's sourdough flavoured, if you can see it, because at the moment it was... There we go. So it's not sourdough, it's just flavoured like sourdough. So it won't have the texture, it'll just have the slight tang. So I've got three of them, just so I can stick them in the bread machine and that'll short, short, no, short notice if I need to. Two of the dried yeasts. It was cheaper to buy it via this can of 125 grams than the sachets. So I picked them up. I am starting all the kids on multivitamins now. And um, although Nathan's on the syrupy stuff, it's not very easy to get in him. So I have seen this focus, Tonic Health, being advertised everywhere at the moment. Um, kids Immunity, they were on free for two at the moment. The adults can get gummies as well, and then they have these tablets that you can drop in water. I'm going to give them a go. I'm going to get the kids on them. They are really good for you they've got all these multivitamins and all that lot there we go and there is hardly any crap in there as well they are the best that i've seen so i picked up three of them for the kids to try and then i picked up a tub of this this isn't for me just to have on its own this is to add into smoothies because it's high in protein and it's for the vitamins and minerals that I want more than anything to make sure that I am getting a well-balanced diet. I'll be adding this to my Nutribullet with banana, strawberries, two scoops of this, and then plenty of ice and milk. So it's not, I won't be just having this as is, if that makes sense. It's just as a base. So um, that is everything, I think. I've shown you everything from Tesco's. There you go. That is everything from Food Warehouse. I've got to get that lot put away. I've got to get dinner cooking. Sorry I have kind of rushed through this a little bit. But, um, yeah, i got crap to do, I'm afraid, guys. But I still wanted to show you what I bought from Tesco's. And I wanted to chat with you quickly. But um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And keep an eye out for future videos. So I will see you again soon. Bye.